Welcome to Decimals Workshop on MrNussbaum.com. This is a total solution for anything you need to do with decimals, including adding, subtracting, dividing, and multiplying. Let's start off with the number of problems you want your kids to do. I'm going to put 2 in here. And let's try multiplying decimals. And here it says select the number of decimal places you would like to use. So you can use from 1 to 3 before the decimal and from 1 to 5 after the decimal. Let's leave it let's let's leave it as it is. So we have one number before the decimal and two after the decimal. So we're going to do a large multiplication problem. Click start. So here's my first problem. 4.22 times 8.87. I'm going to scroll up a little bit and you'll see right here there's a little circle. If I click on this it conceptualizes the decimals for me. So this is what 0.22 looks like, and this is what 0.87 looks like. Let's start actually doing the multiplication. So 7 times 2 is 14, so I'm going to drag a 4 here. And This is really great for kids who have trouble organizing numbers in rows and columns. And I'm going to carry the 1. 7 times 2 is 14. 14 plus 1 is 15 going to carry the 1 one more time. 7 times 4 is 28. 28 plus 1 is 29. So I have my first row done. Time for the second row. So I'm going to bring my 0. I'm actually also going to trash these numbers so they don't get in the way for the next row. So 8 times 2 is 16. Carry the 1. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 plus 1 is 17. So again, I'm going to carry a 1. And now, 8 times 4 is 32. 32 plus 1 is 33. Now for my final row, let's trash these numbers so they don't get in the way. Let's bring down, let's, let's, let's put my two zeros here. Start again. 8 times 2 is 16. Carry the 1. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 plus 1 is 17. Carry the 1 again. 8 times 4 is 32. 32 plus 1, 33. So I'm done with the hard part. All my numbers are lined up neatly in columns. So now I have to do some addition. So I take this line and I drag it. So I get 4 in the first column, 11 in the second column, and now I have to carry my 1 here. 10 plus 7 is 17, 17 plus 6 is 23. So now I have to carry a 2. 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 7 is 14. I carry my 1 again. 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7. I don't have to carry anything else, so I just bring the 3 down. So my answer, well now I have to place the decimal. I see 1, 2, 3, 4 total numbers after the decimal point. So my answer has to match that. 1, 2, 3, 4. So my answer is 37.4314. Let me show you how to enter it. You're going to go up here and you're going to find this check mark. Click the check mark. And then enter the answer. 37.4314. Then click check answer. I'm correct. And once I click the OK, I'll move on to the second problem. It's important to note that this program works really well on an iPad. Also important to know we have a fraction companion program. Again, once you get the hang of this, you won't have to use any other program for adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing decimals. This is how you use the Decimals Workshop.